Hello, welcome you all. My name is Ricardo Alenca, and I am uh, responsible for the international office here at PUC-Rio, as we say, CCCI. And uh, this afternoon, we have as a guest, Rachel Anstad, who is going to be presenting the George Washington University to you. So, Rachel, we'll have from 15 to 20 minutes to introduce the university, and then we're going to open for Q&As. And so I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And Rachel, thank you so much for accepting our invitation. It's really nice to have you here. Um, I'm just going to give you the floor and thank you once again. Great, thank you so much. So thank you all for coming today. Um, I am Rachel Anstadt. I'm the Exchange Program Coordinator at the George Washington University in Washington, DC. We're so excited to share all this information with you. If you have any questions, um, as you know, there will be a Q&A at the end. Happy to answer any questions you have. The George Washington University was created back in 1821, fulfilling George Washington's vision of an institution in the capital of the US. And today, GW is the largest institution in the capital and gives students the opportunity to engage in rigorous academic programming. GW students value the energy of the university's social and service-oriented communities while participating in a wide range of cultural, political, culinary, and social adventures off campus. Some quick facts about GW. We are located in the Foggy Bottom neighborhood, and that's about four blocks from the White House. So you're right in the center of DC. We are well located. Our total student population is quite large. It's 25,000 students. There are over 130 countries represented by our international and exchange students. We have a lot of student organization, over 450 of them and we have almost 2,000 full-time faculty members. Our academic terms at GW are fall and spring, so the fall semester runs from late August to mid-December, and the spring semester runs from early January to mid-May. So for the exchange program, um, I am the exchange program coordinator. So I work in two offices in uh, at GW. I work in the Office for Study Abroad and the International Student Services Office. Um, your primary contact as inbound students would be the International Service or International Student Services Office. Each year, GW welcomes over 200 undergraduate students and uh, provides the students with opportunities to study at one of our six undergraduate schools. Um, we allow you to participate, of course, in the exchange student programming, and you can also join the international student programming. And this also includes our orientation, and our orientation for exchange students is mandatory. You will be uh, permitted to live on campus. You're actually guaranteed on-campus housing um, in our Foggy Bottom neighborhood. This gives you a great chance to explore DC, and there are also a lot of um, famous cities very close to us. So New York City, everyone loves to go to New York. Um, Baltimore and Philadelphia are all just a train ride away from us in DC. You'll also have an opportunity to engage in research or on-campus work opportunities if you choose to do those. So how do you become an exchange student? So first of all, you need to speak with your home institution coordinator and they will nominate you for exchange. After that, you'll complete an online application and submit all of your required documents. Third, you'll gain acceptance and we will issue you your DS-2019, which is the immigration document for your J-1 visa. Step four is to actually apply for your J-1 visa. And the fifth step, of course, is to select classes, travel, and arrive at GW. We do have some admissions requirements that I want to mention. 
So first, you need to have completed one semester at your home institution. You would need to have a minimum GPA of a 3.0 on a 4.0 scale. And you'll need to complete the online application and all the required documents, which includes uh, financial documentation. A little bit about academics at GW. I know this is a lot, but the chart on the right is mostly just to give you an idea of just some sample courses that you might be interested in taking. So exchange students can enroll in courses at any of our six undergraduate schools. Um, a lot of students come here to study political science because we're in the capital. Um, we have a lot of history majors, business majors, um, international affairs majors. Uh, we also have an engineering school, so we get engineering students. So really you have a lot of course options at GW. The only limits here are that students are not allowed to take any graduate level courses, law courses, or med courses. Housing and orientation. So GW has on-campus on housing available for all exchange students. And over 7,000 GW students live on campus. So you'll be right along with everyone else. And you can apply for housing directly through the GW housing website. And we'll give you plenty of information on that um, when, the, when the time comes. Most likely exchange students will be housed in apartment style dorms, which usually includes a kitchen and you would be housed with about two or more students. And you'll be charged for board as well, which is basically money used for meals. Um, and this is pretty exciting. Last year, we didn't have this information, so we actually have a new dining hall. We have an all-you-care-to-eat dining hall, which is really exciting. And then in addition to that, there are dozens of other dining partners on or off campus. Prior to the semester, the exchange team hosts an exchange student orientation. It usually lasts about two to three days and will introduce all of the new students to all the services we offer here. There will be a campus tour. Um, and of course, we'll give you plenty of information on immigration service, on immigration services and your J-1 visa. We also just like to mention a few of the estimated costs. These costs are not um, final, but we like to give you an estimate. So the room cost is about $8,300. Board is about 1,600. Medical insurance, if you choose to go through GW, is about 1,650. And then there are some additional expenses for books, supplies, and other living expenses. Again, my name is Rachel Anstat. I'm the uh, Exchange Program Coordinator. If you have any questions, you can email us at this email address right here, inbound to gw at gwu.edu. Um, I monitor that email address and also Hannah Reedy, the Manager of International Exchanges and Scholars, um, also helps monitor that email address. And we were happy to answer any questions that you have. We just ask that you look through our website first. Um, of course, in the Q&A, that doesn't count, ask away, but we do have a lot of information on our uh, website, which is listed on the left side here. And that is all I have. So we can turn it over to question and answer. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Rachel, for your presentation. And we would like to open up for students if they want to ask questions. It would be nice uh, to hear from you so that Rachel can try to help you at this point or if she needs to um, point you out to where you can get the information. So Maria, Pedro, Luisa, do you have questions? Anything you'd like to ask? Luciani? I think they're shy, so I'll, I'll start. Okay. So uh, last semester, we had two students from Pulki there, right? One from the design school and another one from the undergraduate law school. 
Mm-hmm. And they uh they got back with an excellent impression of the GW uh university. And they actually had like a very good academic uh results, excellent grades. So that's yeah. that's really awesome for us, you know, when our students go there, they come back with excellent grades, excellent experience. This is very nice. And uh, we are uh, sending another student from uh, actually the engineering school for the next fall semester. So next uh, September. So uh, we are uh, really looking forward for this for the student to have another good experience there. Yeah, that's great. I love the variety of majors. That's great. Yes, yes. I see, I see one question in the chat asking about English proficiency requirements. We do have um, requirements. Um, I'm going to see if I can pull up our link here. So if you go on our website, we have a little tab that says admissions requirements and you can find out um, what scores you need, uh, minimum scores you need to enter. Um, And while we're talking about English proficiency requirements, I should mention that we do have kind of a minimum that's allowed for admissions. And then um, there's also a standard score. So if you meet that standard score, then you would not be required to take the English uh, course, the English language course for exchange students. Um, So there are kind of two scores and all of that is on our website. Please feel free to email if you have any questions about that. Anyone else? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. No, I was just asking anyone else yeah. have any questions? So uh, I'll ask about accommodation again. So you you mentioned uh, um, a few options. So c- can you just go into a few details about this, this these options for accommodation? Sure. So students um, are guaranteed on-campus housing. Um, but you are permitted to live off campus if you prefer that. Um, A lot of students do choose to live on campus just to make sure they're interacting with domestic students and get the full experience. Um, We have most of our our campus housing, on-campus housing is quite close, um, but there, it could be a number of different dormitories. So we have a lot of different dormitories that could be placed in. Um, But typically, they're kind of apartments. They are usually two. It's usually not more than four students. So you would be with, you know, two or three roommates. Um, Yeah. And then so you'll have a place to cook, most likely. And if you have any questions, if anyone has any special needs that they need for housing, uh, special accommodations, you can request those from um, our GW housing office. They will work with you individually. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Any more questions? Okay, another question from Louisa. Sure. Curious to know a little about the political science program. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. And for international students specifically or just in general, you're welcome to take any political science courses that you see. Um, As long as they're undergraduate courses, you're welcome to take those. Um, We just ask that you check with your home institution first to make sure it it will get you the credits you need for your specific program. Let's see, does that answer your question? I think it does. Yeah, feel free to ask a follow-up question if I didn't answer it. Okay. okay, great. Okay, anyone else would like to ask a question? No? Okay, so we want to thank Rachel again for her time, for her kindness to be here with us. It was really a pleasure to get to know you, Rachel. And I would like to tell you, I don't know if you're going to be at NAFSA, but Danielle and Linda will both be at NAFSA. So if you want to schedule a meeting with them and to get to know them better, 
It will be a Great. pleasure to meet you there. Okay. okay, good to know. Thank you. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you all for being at this session. And again, uh, Rachel has already uh, shared her contact. So if you have any more questions, you can, uh, of course, email Rachel. But I would also invite you to come to our international office and also contact one of our staff team here so that you can have some of your answers, uh, some of your questions answered. Okay. All right. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you very much, Rachel. Bye-bye. Take care.